Hi, and welcome to Links to Literacy's video on the basics of Google searching. As you can see, I'm going to start at www.google.com. Here's the Google logo. Depending on the day, the logo might look a little bit different. It's just something fun that Google does. And I'm going to start my search by, ser by entering my search terms or keywords into this search box in the middle of the page. I'm going to search for dog. And as you can see, Google sometimes moves the, moves the search box up to the top of the page. That's fine. Same thing happens as if it stayed in the middle of the page. And Google will also suggest some related search terms for me. So let's say I was searching for dog breeds. I wouldn't have to type the whole thing in. Google suggests it. I can just click on it. But I just want to search for dog. So I'm going to click on the magnifying glass. And here we are on my search results page. Here's the list of search results on the left, and on the right, you'll see something that Google calls a knowledge graph. And for certain search terms, Google will provide this knowledge graph that, that they hope will answer some of your questions about what you searched for. So if I had searched for dog with a question about what a dog was or what some kinds of dog breeds were, this might answer my questions. So let's take a look at my search results. For each search result, you'll have a link that will take you to the website. And this link, it looks like, leads to Wikipedia. This is the URL for this website, for this search result. This text is what Google calls a snippet. And it's a little piece of the website that they take and put here to help you decide what you want to click on. And you'll also notice that for some search results, Google will also provide a list of links that are available on that website. Let's see what else I have here. It looks like I have some places close to me that are related to dogs. You can also see those places on the map over here on the right. I have a dog breed selector from Animal Planet. Oh, I have a couple videos, a dog health center, news items related to dogs. Looks like a dog wearing a sweater. Oh, and some images. I like this guy, he's cute. Dog of the Day, Dog Star Daily, something from National Geographic, um, and it looks like something from Twitter, some other related search ser searches. So if this didn't get me exactly what I wanted, I could try one of these other searches that Google suggests. And if I was looking for something specific that I didn't find on this first page, I can try the next page of search results. So as you can see, Google provides a lot of different kinds of search results. I had something from Wikipedia. I have all these locations close to me. I have some videos. I have some news. I have some images. So it's not just websites. So thank you for, t for participating in the basics of Google search. And now it's your turn.